Hey everybody, so um, we do go to the food pantry once a month. It's called Commodities here. Um, a lot of people call it that, um, but a lot of places it's just called food pantry. You can only go once a month. Um, it's based on your family size and your income. So we have a family of five. Only one of us works. Um, so we are qualified to go and it's not like you get so much base on your income, it's um, the amount of people. So if you qualify at all, it's only amount of people that determines how much food that you get. A lot of things are like one per family. Um, so, and a lot of things are just there if you want it. Um, you can have as many of them as you want. So we'll go over everything that I got today. Um, everything here is behind me in these boxes and we'll go through it one thing at a time. Okay, so we have an entire case of Ritz crispy cracker things, Kristen. So we have a whole case of these. They expire this month, so I imagine that's why that we where we got these. So here's a whole case of these crackers. And what is this? A uh, case of ready to drink vanilla meal. Um, we get a lot of these um, kind of like nutritional drink things. Um, really can't use them for cooking, so it's kind of more like a meal on the go sort of thing. If you're stuck in the car or on the road. Okay, so this would be the meat and stuff. We've got a two pound bag of long grain white rice. And we get two packs of deer burger. The deer burger is optional, you can take it or not. Um, we do sign up because I'm not going to say no to free food. <laughs> Um, I have one, two, three, four bags of these cauliflower fries. I do notice that we're getting a lot more um, veggie friendly stuff, which I'll get to in a moment. We have four of these cauliflower fries. Um, they're made with cauliflower and potatoes. They're just like little french fries. Put them in the air fryer, in the oven, whatever. Um, we got extra large shrimp. It's not really something you expect to get in commodities, or we got it, so super happy about that. And they all have their, you have to peel the whole thing. We have that. That's that box. Well, let's move on to the next one. Okay, we have three boxes of mac and cheese. These usually aren't the best, they're usually store brand, um, but you can um, always reuse the pasta for other meals. Notice the cheese kind of sucks overall, but beggars can't be cheesy. Um, we get the USDA fully co cooked pork patties. These aren't sausage, they're just pork patties. Um, you can make any kind of meal with that. Um, sub them out for burgers, crumble them up for chili or something like that. Um, you really got to be creative to kind of use some of this stuff. Um, we got one Cornish hen. This is what I'm trying to say, like one per family. So we have five people and one of us gets the Cornish hen. I don't eat meat, but everybody else does. So I um, mean, more than likely it'll become chicken noodles or a chicken stew or something like that. Nobody's just going to eat one bird on their own. And we also got pork loin chops, center cut, boneless, frozen. I would have to say it looks like there's four in here, but they're super vacuum packed. Um, not like much now, but it's supposed to be four servings of pork chop here. Extremely thin. Then we got a whole pork loin. So that will have to be thawed out. Oh my gosh. And slice 
or um, you can cook it whole like a roast. This is what I'm super excited about um, because I go to commodities every month that I need to go to get extra food for my family, but I do not eat meat, so I'm really limited to like rice, beans, vegetables, that sort of thing. But lately, and I'm talking within the last six months, we've had um, Morningstar products. I got another Morningstar product this month. Yeah, I have not tried these because I'm not super fan of spicy stuff, but buffalo, chicken patties. I'm really just glad that there's food that I can eat too. And if that was not enough, here is an entire case of the Beyond Breakfast Sausages. A whole case. I'm super happy about this. Um, I just want to look. They're in the bag. Um, just tons of them. They're not individually packaged or anything like that, but here, like an entire case of Beyond Sausages. Those will last me legit forever. And I am ever so grateful that I actually have food that I can eat that comes from the food pantry because it lets me know that powers that be are taking everybody's needs into consideration and not just those that eat meat. So super happy about that. And so that stuff would technically be our frozen foods and meat selection. Okay, next box. Okay, we got an entire giant can of spaghetti sauce. Um, this makes about four meals for my family. You have to open it and then portion it up and freeze it. Kind of a hassle, but I mean, if you can, it's a great way to plan ahead for meals. Um, two more bags of that long grain rice. So that makes three pounds of long grain rice that I've got this month and then we got a bag of oranges i mean obviously these were from last month they're not great they are moldy and we got a two pound bag of navy beans and then we have three of these half gallons of clearly organic whole milk this does expire february 18th of 2020 but um kind of doubt how long they've been cold because they're not cold now. They weren't cold when I got them. I imagine they got unloaded off the truck this morning and then got passed out from there, leaving it up to us to get them to proper refrigeration on a quick amount of time. It is very cold out today, so that's not a huge concern, but to be clear, this stuff was not refrigerated when I got it. So we kind of have to... um do a little smell check every time that we open one of those up because we just don't know. Okay, next box. I got, you know, I have more of these. I have a bag of lentils, yellow lentils. Um, we have two pounds of USDA pistachios. It's an absolute godsend. Just amazing that we have that um, peanut butter. Then I have a can of Rotel green tomatoes with iced chilies. The giant thing of natural peanut butter. That's one per family. Um, and I got refried beans. A bag of dried plums, as we all know, as prunes. A can of oven cleaner and a honeydew melon. I think I have another one of these. We got an entire case of baby cereal, and you do not have to have a baby to get the baby cereal. Um, so, this is just uh, Earth's Best Organic um, Whole Grain Baby Cereal. I use this for cookies i use it for pancakes you can use it for muffins um kind of make sort of a uh grits style breakfast out of it 
I can also mix it with hot water and give my chickens a hot breakfast. So um, it does come in handy. If you get things you think you can't use them, either look for someone else who can use them or find other ways to use what you get. Now well, we've got an entire bag. This is one per household of just assorted different chips. Here we've got pretzels. Um, two bags of Flaming Hot kettle cooked chips. Um, two bags of Miss Dickie's sea salt and vinegar chips. And then a bag of original kettle cooked chips. So, a bag of chips. And in the box we have um, three bags of apples. These all look good. They're not bruised up. They're not oozy and they're not rotten. Next month they will be. <laughs> this month, fresh apples. I'm always very happy about that. Gala apples. And I believe these are two pound bags. Three pound bags. So we got nine pounds of apples. Always very welcome. Here's my other honeydew melon. Um, I kind of thought that these were... Um, spaghetti squash when I got there, but um, the, they're definitely honeydew melons. So I have those. And then we have a uh, Ray Fox of Rice Krispies. These are the winter ones they're pulling, or the Christmas ones they're pulling off the shelves, so we'll be getting a lot of those, I imagine. Um, like I said, I go every month, and they know me, and so they know that I go for anything, uh, beans or rice, veggies, because I don't eat meat. So they were super nice, giving me choices. Um, I had the choice of canned corn or beans. I took the beans, so I have one, two, three cans of the um, dark red kidney beans. So we have three of those. Then I got diced tomatoes. There are three cans of the diced tomatoes as well. Then I got two cans of sliced pears. Um, we don't really eat a lot, a lot of canned foods. Yeah, the beans, yeah, tomatoes. Um, but these are more like for desserts or we will save them for a snack, really. Um, it's kind of a treat. I got three cans of garbanzo beans as well. And... Oh, actually, four cans of our bonza beans, and I got two cans of peaches. I get three cans of evaporated milk, which you can use for cooking. Three cans of evaporated milk. Um, I got a can of USDA pork. This is whole cooked pork in here. You can use it for pulled pork sandwiches. Um, uh, use it for beans. Eat pork and beans a lot. Okay, um, this is one of the, like, just odd items that you can take or leave that are up there. Um, I thought this might be a good deal. This is, um, ranch-style beans. They're, like, big beans, but, um, they're vegetarian, so I was super happy to snap that up. Um, so we also get practical stuff, like the oven cleaner and a big pack of AA batteries. I'm always super happy to get stuff like this. Big bottle of mustard, spicy brown mustard. Um, okay, these are maple brown sugar oat cups. So as you cook them in the microwave, we don't own a microwave. I assume that you could do the thing, same thing with hot water and just cover up because it's just oatmeal and really needs to steam. But I have three boxes of these. Making four, eight, twelve different servings of oatmeal. Super good. And then we got um, a big old stack of assorted Slim Jims. And that was the start commodities for the entire month. Um, we can only go once a month. It does help us out a lot. I will say that um, you really have to get creative with what you got, otherwise it goes to waste, and that's exactly what we're trying not to do. 
I know that my local food pantry has had problems with people throwing things into the dumpster, but I mean, I can easily see it happening. Um, when you get milk that's not refrigerated or an entire case of baby food or vanilla protein shakes. I mean, these are things that don't really have a whole lot of use in cooking and sustaining people. So, um, like I said, if you can't use what you get from the food pantry, either don't take it or give it to someone who can. It's definitely about reducing the food waste. Because I know that the things that we get there are cast-offs from other places, things people didn't want to buy, stuff like that. Um, and it really is there to serve a purpose. And we certainly do benefit from having that service there. And we're really happy that it exists. But I wanted to share with you guys today what exactly five people get from a local food pantry. Um, the things you can do with it. And, um, you know, just the reality of it. Because a lot of people think that, um, you know, you go to the food pantry and you get, you know, smashed fruit or canned food and you know it is possible to get you know snacks for your kids or I, I mean I mean I don't know a whole lot of people that can afford two pounds of pistachios in one go there are luxury items there are items that you wouldn't necessarily get for yourself but are definitely treats and everybody deserves a treat sometime so if you are in need in any kind of way I do urge you to go to your local food pantry because you, you have no idea the benefits Thank you for watching, and I will post another video next month when I go to my local food pantry if anybody is interested in seeing what we get next month because it's always different. Um, so, thanks for watching.